yes, we will be the first. You will be the first what? The, the first flight director pilot, I mean, among the Afghan new generation, I would say, Afghan new uh, Air Force generation, I would say. This is uh, their opportunity to really stand on their own. This is the last piece of the puzzle for the Afghan military, their ability to provide close air support to their soldiers out in the field. And once they have mastered that, they'll ensure their own future. The Super Takana was built uh, as a counterinsurgency and light attack type aircraft, so the entire design uh, is, was built around those types of requirements. So uh, very long loiter time, uh, a very appropriate armament for, for this type of mission. Uh, it's used by 10 different air forces around the world, a lot of them in Central South America, uh, and a lot of nations throughout Africa. So this is kind of a unique uh, program for the United States Air Force because it has built a, a cadre of instructor pilots and maintainers that have built up some knowledge on uh, an aircraft that will allow us to engage with other partner nations. I know Afghanistan is uh, in a really tough situation right now, so I'm really encouraged and motivated by my family, and I really love my family. I know it's a hard job to be an Air Force pilot in Afghanistan, especially in a real dangerous situation right now that we have many problems, as you guys know that, the whole world pretty much know that. The real uh, you know, reason we're here is to enable long-term peace for the, for the people of Afghanistan. So uh, these pilots serve at a significant personal risk. If this entire effort of our nation goes south in Afghanistan, these are going to be some of the first folks that are uh, probably hunted down by the enemy. To be honest, in Afghanistan, yeah, in that situation, I think it's really important to, uh, to keep it uh, and hide it from people that they don't know you because they're going to treat your family and that's what happened to most people and to be honest to my family what happened we missed one of our brother being almost two and a half years we don't really know about him right now he used to be a Air Force uh, Army Sergeant and so we lost him we don't really know what, what happened to him because uh, of can't say it yeah, sorry. That's okay. I mean, that's, that's, that's fine. I understand. You know, it's sometimes hard for us to, you know, in America to, to conceptualize that they've been at war for 35 years. Uh, but I think one of the real key advantages of doing this program here at Moody Air Force Base, it allows us to control the environment. Uh, and it really allows us to focus uh, our training. I think the other thing uh, that really is a, an advantage for us is that the student pilots and maintainers were not just selected based off of security vetting, uh, but also aptitude vetting, which is the first time we've ever really done that for one of our uh, partnership building programs in Afghanistan. So the intent is not to just give them an introduction and turn them loose. We really have a, a holistic approach that gets them to a sustainable long-term program that they can run by themselves. This aircraft just had all the right stuff that they needed that they wanted for uh, over in Afghanistan. Like I said, it's a simple aircraft to fly, simple aircraft to maintain, uh, fairly rugged. It can land on dirt strips, you know, unimproved airfields. By the time they get over, they're going to be full of combat capable pilots. So in a year, this aircraft will probably be in Afghanistan. I think this is, yeah, our last kind of our last big effort and uh, kind of the last chance to, to get it right, you know, and uh, make it so they can stand up on their own and also so we can uh, keep our ground troops out of there and our guys safe. We have to take care of ourselves and take care of our people. We will be, most of us, we will be part of the history and then we'll be teaching other guys and uh, fighting our combat missions. There will be freedom one day in Afghanistan.